Today, Donald Richardson has a job, a roof over his head and confidence, something he didn't have back in January. I didn't know where my, my next meal was coming from, my next job. For the first time in my life, I didn't have a job. I had nothing. So Richardson went to the rescue mission. Humbled, his confidence was down. But it's the help he got at the mission which turned him around. There were, there were lots of good words of comfort and, you know, just, you know, relax, we'll help you. Everything's going to be all right. And, you know, they're very patient and good, just, a, just a great group of people. After a few weeks at the mission, he enrolled in the mission's Willing to Work program where his work ethic turned some heads. 37-year mission worker Steve Tennant noticed. We just happened to have a staff opening and said, Don's the man. I mean, he had already proven himself after about three months with us, and we just offered it to him, and he slid right in and has done a magnificent job for us. I'm very proud of him. That brings us back to today, where Donald could be seen working for the mission at their 125th anniversary block party this afternoon, a complete transformation from just a few months ago. The mission helped me out immensely. They changed my life because I was really, really down on my luck. And I had no place else to go, and uh, they helped me out a very lot. That's what it's all about, is to see those rare opportunities when somebody comes in really, in, really needing help, and we can provide it, and then they get back on their feet. They use the gifts and talents that they have um, to, to great work, and it's wonderful to see. So for the past 125 years, it's people like Donald whose lives were changed forever by the services the rescue mission provides. And by the community's support today, it's obvious it's definitely made an impact here in Syracuse. Reporting from the rescue mission in Syracuse, I'm Tom Eschen.